These are some pretty simple wallets, and I ain't gonna lie to you, they don't do that much. But that's exactly what some people are looking for. Simple, protective, and they look pretty cute. So let's check it out. These aren't revolutionary, but they've taken a classic design and spiced up the details of it. Starting off with the finish of the plain colors, it's this matte rubber texture that's just really grippy, with a hard clear plastic back option, but also a full covered one we'll check out later. This is the sliding door model, and inside, every wallet does come with the RFID blocking card and this card sized leather pouch for smaller doohickeys. There's also a flip door model, slightly more space with additional functionality around back, but overall the same design otherwise. You may recognize it from one of my favorite cases VRS makes, the damn the folder case I reviewed previously. It's a thick tough case but houses this huge storage area around with a flip door. They basically just stripped the phone away and kept the wallet portion. So starting with the flip door model or folder hinge as they call it, this is the F501 model. There are two front variations, the striped luggage texture looking shiny one or the plain pastel -y color style which I dig the most. And around back, there's the see-through model that can show off your black card or a full covered up one which I prefer for the matte texture. But this is super simple, you flip the half top open, it can easily be done one handed and it fits up to 7 or 8 cards depending how many raised credit cards you have. Also, it doesn't have to be payment cards. It works great with business cards too. All stuffed in, the wallet won't allow you to overflow, so the door always closes flush. Now, everything is protected in this all-around hard case. Whether your cards need protecting is up to you. No judgment on my end what you carry. With the folder hinge, the backside has a cutout for your finger to push through. I like to push through first, which makes it easy to flip the door open, but there are side notches that make it easy to grasp onto as well. The whole wallet, although solid, is fairly light and feels sturdy. I don't have any concerns of the door falling off or breaking under light pressure. The striped version has a soft match finish with a rigid texture that's sort of nice to rub on, don't judge me. Access to cards are easy with the finger pushed against them, first, middle, or the last cards are reachable. There's a little tab on the inside that keeps pressure on the cards, it won't do much if there's only a single card inside and if you are only carrying one card stop it. But even when it's not maxed out, three or four cards, the tab keeps everything from jingling around too much, and also from just completely falling out. These mini leather pouches are about the size of a card and are designed for flatter small items. It works great with a single key and anything more than that may get a little tight, but it is possible. Since it is a separate pocket, I found myself sometimes having to use two hands and removing it completely to get to those items though. I also recommend having a card in front of that pocket, maybe a card you need to quickly access, just to keep everything inside from sliding out on its own. Of course, you could just throw your key inside, that's the beauty of these large pocket wallets. You can store whatever you want. Unfortunately, it can be finicky to put cards back in with the key in the way. That's why having this pocket makes it convenient for other items in the wallet. Checking out the slide door model, the G501, it allows for complete vertical access instead of horizontal like before. The spring door snaps open and back into place for quick access, and it can fit up to five or six cards, slightly less than the other. This one doesn't have a finger cutout, but otherwise uses the same materials. Now, if you're worried about getting your cards swiped unintentionally, throw in the included RFID blocking and boosting card. It will occupy a card space, but essentially anything on the boosting side like a credit card will still be able to tap wirelessly, while anything on the opposite side gets their signals blocked. So when inside the pocket, any cards you want protected will be sandwiched between your thunder thighs and the blocking RFID card. Again, both door models come in a clear and fully covered textured back too. Last little accessory, a little rope and leather lanyard is included which is pretty neat. And for anyone that likes to hang it around your neck or even just tether it to yourself, this is nice to have. And that's everything. Combined with the little leather pouch and the RFID blocking card, you've got a choice from a range of colors and two styles to choose from, along with the slide or flip door model and your choice of a clear or full covered back. My favorite part though, it's an open design. You can hold anything you want, like your secret stash for those lonely nights, keep some cash to pay off your kinky hobby, and store some mints for the after party. That's all protected in the hard shell that won't accidentally open on you because how embarrassing would that be? It even works as an accessory storage for your gear. The possibilities are endless as long as the items are fairly flat. They are funding it now over on Indiegogo, both the flip and slide doors, so if you are interested in one, you can fund it now and save about 25%. A big shout out to VRS Design for sponsoring this review, it's a huge pour for what I do on this channel, but I had complete creative freedom, and all opinions expressed are from my own brain. That's it, like and subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment down below what your favorite color was. I rest my wallets?